When working with designs containing moving parts, it is important to check how the design will function before you make it and avoid costly mistakes. SolidWorks Motion provides the ability to not only move your mechanism, but also obtain performance information at the same time. You can apply motors, springs, dampers, forces, contacts, gravity, and then plot the results after running the test. When defining motors or actuators, there are a wide variety of inputs you can use to control the movement such as constant speed, distance, and oscillating. Along with the motion inputs, SolidWorks Motion uses the assembly mates to determine the resulting motion of the model. You need only set the end time and you're ready to check the operation of your design. After the motion is simulated, results can be displayed as plots or vectors on the screen, making it easy to relate values to specific model positions. Everything is parametric, so you can go back at any time and easily modify it. The extensive results options allow you to size the actuator to achieve the desired operation, look at forcing in bearings and pins, or if desired, even calculate the stress in the components over time. SolidWorks Motion also gives you the option of being able to check for interference between any components in the model over the entire simulation range. When modifications are made to the design, they are automatically accounted for in the motion study, allowing for you to quickly see if a change improved performance or made it worse. Additional forces can be easily added to account for other loads, such as a patient in this medical couch example. And if you have commonly used springs, motors, or forces, they can be added to the design library for easy drag and drop reuse on other designs. The plots update automatically after running the simulation, making it very easy to see the effect of these changes.